How's it going, everybody? My name is Mr. Hollycare, and welcome to Corpse Party Book of Shaw. God damn it. Wait. But I had tooth. Oh. God damn it. I had a mix up. Something, something went wrong. Uh, be right back, guys. Uh, sorry. Wow. Today is not my day, I guess. Ah. Hi, guys, I'm back. And I got it. I had to replay the game. Well, actually, I didn't replay it. I replayed it to the part where I, I last save state the shit out of it. Student council room, 4 p.m. Oh god, we're- Oh, it's them! Hey, Mr. President. Do you forget about tomorrow? Hmm? What's tomorrow? Please tell me I can- I can kick you. Absolutely not. So what's happening tomorrow? Hey! No violence in the student council room. I've been over this. Uh, be right back for just a second. I need to check on something. Just one second. Okay, guys, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I had some some um, one of my family members, a little small fry here, um, used kind of touched my stuff and moved my face that way. So let's. Sorry about that. Wow. Stop, please. If I forgot something important, I seriously apologize. So just tell me what it is already. Use your words, not your feet. It's, it's it, this room. Spring cleaning. I mean, it's full of balls. Is this a storage shed or something? How long has it ever been since a sports festival? Oh yeah, that's right. You were taught asking to schedule this cleaning day. Ow. You completely pissed it out of your mind, didn't you? No, I saw a pencil it in somewhere. Your recommendations are important to me and to the school council. Fine, I forgot. Okay? It's not like I don't have enough of my plan. As it is. So, do you have to any idea how much of importance to do? I'm sorry. Clear enough for me, I forgive you. What? What's your problem anyway? Wait, what? Tough love from trusted clerks. Sometimes you just need to admit your mistakes and move on. Though the manly approach to principalizing has emerged too. Mitsuki. Just make sure you keep it. The parents, it's not an opinion. Don't think you can run away from your post if you, the going gets tough. You got it. Yeah, I got it. You just don't get it. Mino is my bride, so hands off. Like Kel, I'm not giving her up to the likes of you. Besides, you got that Nana girl, right? Don't be dare. Don't you dare to time her. You're so clueless. It only really gets really good once you got at least three girls. Nobody knows that. Sounds like you guys are having. Having fun, it it the game. Oh, Yamamoto, you want in on this? It's a game where you use a style of message and message and kiss girls, and 
and you can go out with three at once. What? I'm glad you're enjoying a little run. But keep it to one girl, you lawless. Ow. So we can so we can already tell We can already tell that the oops that the dude in the brown the, the one next to the girl is a total perv or a filthy animal. Hmm? What's tomorrow? Oh boy. I had no idea any of this was going on in the student council room that day. I had other things on my mind. Seriously, a certain boy. Ooh, a boy. I've been waffling quite some time on rather or not to ask anything. But finally, I decide to bite the bullet and ask his best friend. Hey, hey, quick question. Does Yuya have a GF? Hmm? No, I'm pretty sure he's single. Why? Well, um, I kind of might have a sight set on him, I guess. Seriously? Well, wow, that's great news. I'll definitely be rooting for you. Oh, but... Well, he's not a particularly stable individual. When you get right down to it, going out with him might not be all the fun for you. Hmm? But I hear that despite his ultimate popularity with the ladies, he's never won so much has touched anyone. Isn't that kind of the bad sign though? No, quite the contrary. It's given him a nice clean image. Oh ho! This was who knew Yuya, aka the boy I liked, pretty much all his life. I figured I'd come to him for information I needed since he was pretty much gradually to know Yuya's dating history. As so far, things seem to be going really well. I mean, not go not only did I confirm Yuya wasn't seeing anyone, but I got his best friend's blessing too. And confirmed that he really wasn't a show cool guy type. <laughs> that suited me just fine. Who am I playing as? It's not Misky. Close to the hell girl Misky for you, huh? She was sitting in the classroom doorway, arm four across her chest, looking look some angry dency about to cast judgment upon, down upon the earth. Ooh, I'm tired already. Whoa, that just hit me like morning sun. Uh, and she had a deadly grin on her eye, her eyes, the one that could feel the manliest warrior before he even had a chance to draw his sword. Then I tell you today was screen cleaning in the student council room. And I told you I can because I had club today. Come on, back me up here. I won't. I wouldn't go that route. It's either just to give in. What? Yeah, this was definitely hell girl's work. All the content was gone from his face. He was just a man with a demon on his back. Whipped at the ready, fully. <laughs> this sounds like fun. Can I join you guys? <laughs> By all means, the more the merrier. Misty then grabbed the nip, 
and began dragging him out of the door painfully. He was like a greedy uh, ship. Aww. You know I'm not even in the school and council. I just love watching those guys react to Hellgirl Miski. I couldn't wait to see more. I didn't even care if I had to clean it in order to do it. I was a volunteer at Bra, so I was pretty much pretty much off the hook here. I could follow them on my own pace. I dragged for me. As soon as we left the classroom, we ran into you yet. Or rather, I did. As in, I literally ran into him. I wasn't watching where I was going and wanted up slamming into him so hard that he fell over. Immediately, he reached out his hand to help me up and asked me if I was alright. And white knight if I ever seen him. Wait. I'll be right back. I want to get a drink, a cold drink for me. So I'll be right back after these short messages. Okay, guys, I'm back. Ooh. Got my little little soda here. Well, that drink, I just took a sip and boom, energy all over again. Okay. Let's do this. Whew. I don't want to get rid of it. What was fun event this would be, I imagined during with me living in bed, dreaming of Yuya. <coughs> so, is this her? No, no, this is Emma. Are you okay? Yeah, it'll be all right. You'll feel better once we get out of episode seven. Tooth. Was I right? I guess I feel a little better. That's good. Are you okay to head back and rejoin the others then? Yeah. The stall door seems to be stuck. It won't open anymore. But it was just there. Maybe the lock somehow jammed when I left. Mirror. For some reason the air seems normally chill, but it's probably best to keep your distance. Teenage girl. Ooh, okay, stay away from the corpse, stay away from the corpse. I wonder which one's I wonder which one's yo yo I'm giving a guess of doing the red hair. Yosuke! God. No. I bet it hurts real bad. I'll try I'll tie up your knee the high joints that should help so stop the bleeding. We got your leg right here, but don't worry about it. Taco, we were in the old-fashioned, run-down, hobby commanded, condemned school building. None of us knew how we got here, nor even where here was. I rather emerge the girls' room with Emma after losing my lunch, where you, yeah, uh, had were waiting. The whole hallway was absolutely bloodbath after what uh, had happened. 
walks into some sort of movie trap and half of his right leg loops off and the knee down. How could something possibly happen? <laughs> 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 Why? Why would there be traps set up here? Where the hell even are we? Feels like somebody's screwing with us. Keep quiet. Rosuke is has been really badly injured. Huh? The hell is your problem? You you're spinning. Stop it, please. This is going to tie along with Misty and the other got me. I thought I was going to be left right. We went to the school council room where we met up with Emma started cleaning the goofy around and then we were done. Emma suggested we all try this new charm she discovered on the internet. She's nuts for the kind of stuff. Also, it was Emmy who did this, so f fuck you, Emmy. The fuck was that? All kind of fashion. So we didn't. Wait. There was kind of shaky. I'm gonna move my little camera. Uh, still a little bit like right that. We just need to get out of here. What about him? I'll carry him. Yuya. Yuya was so kind, you can always count on boys in times of need. Still, there was a problem with this part of action. Wait! What if there's a lot more traps? If you're carrying someone piggyback, you won't be able to react quickly enough to avoid them. But. I know we have to, what I'm thinking is, we find a way out and ensure the road between here and there is safe, then come back for him. I agree with that. Yeah. Roske, Roske, don't worry, we won't leave you behind. We won't kill, we will. But, um, who's going to go? We could lose our own legs in the blink of an eye, just walking around in here. You're the one who said we should find an exit in the first place, so you go. Aww. I like the dude in the red, I like his necklace. It looks nice. Between silk and fortunately it's being way. I'll go. I'm the one who suggested spring after all. Toko. I'll go too. Wait. Oh shit, I forgot. He's Yuya. There's no need for anyone to go. One more person should be plenty. Any takers? Dead signs, no volunteers, huh? Anybody just looked. I want you know that. Friends, huh? 
Finally, the sounds were broken by a loud, shrill male voice that me. Hold on, fine, I'll go. You'll see, you'll stay here. I said I'm going. You wait here, you good for nothing sack. You'll just get in the way. Alright. Well, let's go. Be careful, okay? I will, bitch. And now the adventure begins. As long as we had any willpower left. I wasn't about to give up. Plus, didn't hurt that Yuya was with me, so I knew everything would be turning out fine. <laughs> oh! Ooh, these are, this is my jam! Why do the good things die and young? Alright. Alright. Oh, sorry, I was kind of bit. I had to do something. I had to splash some water on my face. This video is going to be a little shorter because I do not have the time and I have something to do tomorrow. Besides uploading, I just have to do something. Let's first make it to the end of this hallway. Up to here. The word infirmary was written to a door somehow the floor the room felt like it would be I oddly confirmed that it be. Ooh, I'm actually very tired right now too. Oh, what's that? He's just standing there. What? What are you doing? Hey, there's boogeyman in there or something, and then I'll figure out. And what exactly do you plan to do with that key? I'm gonna hang it in. Don't worry. <laughs> Honestly, pain in the ass. So here's a show off and a pain in the ass. Okay, I see. Oh, automatically going to. Automatically going to someone like this. Good for your person. It looks. You're very good at throwing and catching, okay? So just stop it already. The ceiling in this place is sure as high. Let's see if I can touch the alley. Oops. Oh, how did it go? But whatever. I don't give a shit. And now the infirmary was cut off from us. We need it. If we needed it, brilliant. Oh god damn it, he locked us in. Shokoguchi! 
<laughs> it's an exit. Honestly, <laughs> honest to goodness, exit. We can finally get out of here. I rush over to the door, hopefully y'all get afraid knowing it might not open, but praying. More hand pressing on it, and it swings open without even a slice hesitation. It was unnaturally dark outside, though the rain was coming down so hard that perking my head out just a moment, my uniform got completely soaked. Let me pass the door open even wider than usual, like you regardless of anyone. My clothes went from soaked to drenched in a matter of seconds. If I were actually out into it, I felt like I drowned. What is this place? It's too dark out there. We're in the forest, maybe. It's really coming down. If we want out here, the rain, a rainstorm like this, we'll get soaked to the bone. I wouldn't mind seeing that look on you. Anyway, we know we can go outside and safely now. Let's go back to get him. Drool? Come on, Yuya. Despite having found a way, Yuya had changed a bit. He was standing back the hall. He could watch over us while also keeping an eye on any else. <sighs> you guys go back. I'm leaving. What? I'm not about to stick around in this fucked up place. The longer I have to screw the other, I got it. I'm out of here. You can't be serious. Hell yeah, I'm serious. These assholes are the ones who behind me. Just gonna die one by one. As I say, let them. Don't even think you're quite... You wanna come with me? The tone of his voice said it all. He hit an ultimate low. After abandoning his friends to save his own hide, he was basically. To me? I don't know why you die. You've been real precious to me for quite some time now. Release a true sickening pickup line. He really was a slim ball. The end of a slim ball. Aww, he's a jackass. He's a donkey. Well, like that. I felt like that. Well, everything's going blurred to me right now. I can't read properly. Ugh. Fuck it. You know what? This is the part where I say... Fuck it. Leave a like. I'm sorry guys, I gotta end this episode. I'm saying this is gonna be a very short episode because I am extremely tired. So leave a like if you liked this video. Subscribe and like always, I will see you... Wait. I'll see you on the next episode. This is Mr. Holic signing off on a better corpse party game. I'm sorry, guys. Peace.